In the previous video, we started exploring Portacle. We showed some basic keyboard bindings and how a Lisp file interacts with the REPL. Currently, you should be able to write, compile and run some basic programs. Now, I want to introduce you a plugin or mod in the Emacs language, which may be a bit tricky to use at the beginning, but in the long run, it really improves your Lisp developing experience. Let's open the file we started last time inside the portacle home example uh, project example example.lisp When we edit a file, we typically reason in a line by line fashion. In Lisp, there is a more productive way, which is in term of expression. In particular, paredit is one of the mods that helps us to achieve this. You may find some strange behavior when you start editing a file. For example, if you open a parenthesis, you may see that the Emacs immediately closes it. Now, let's try to delete the reading function using the backspace character. We go in the end and we start deleting. As you can see, the editor doesn't delete the parentheses. This is because it tries to keep them balanced. When we start deleting some alphanumeric character, the backspace works and as soon as the parenthesis is empty, it also deletes the parentheses. The idea is that if we want to delete an expression, we have to delete all of it. For example, if we want to delete the parseInt function, we can go at the beginning of it and run the key binding Ctrl K. If we want to delete a all function, we go at the beginning of the function on the first parenthesis and then again we can run Ctrl K. Even though the function spans on multiple lines, they all get deleted. If you deleted the wrong expression, you can restore using control underscore. Now let's start with some more interesting example. Today, the American keyboard really helps in the key bindings. Now, suppose that I want to analyze the return value of format. What I could do is put it inside a printc function. I can go in front of format at the beginning and I start by writing a print expression. As soon as I open the parentheses, Emacs closes it such that I don't forget to do it after. But uh, what we have written is wrong. I want the format expression as an argument of the printc function. What I can do is include the next expression in the current one. This is known as slurping. With paredit, we just have to type control with a closed parenthesis. And this is exactly what we wanted to write. In particular, this is a slurp forward because we went in the right direction. We can also do the opposite. It is known as barfing. Barfing means push out a, an expression from the current one. We always worked on the right but there exists also the same operation on the left. You have just to remember that a parenthesis include, this is a slurp, while a curly braces push out or barf. At the beginning it's a little bit strange, but as you go on it becomes natural. For example, now let's try to slurp the print function inside the format. 
it's wrong from a syntactical point of view, but it's just a try. So I go inside format and if I slurp left using control and an open parenthesis, we can see that print C get included in the current expression. In the same way, I can barf or push out the print C using a control and an open curly braces. Open parenthesis means we are working on the left, while a closed parenthesis means we are working on the right. In this video, we have introduced some more key bindings for Emacs that may improve your experience of writing Lisp. And now you should be able to explain some strange behavior that you could meet while writing in Portacol.